All right, so we have quite a bit of time now because of this coronavirus, unfortunately. Uh, we're doing some updates to the car. Well, I did some updates to the car. And uh, my angles are off a little bit now on my shackles. That one's pretty good. That one, you know, when I talk about shackles, I talk about these, just go to the rear end. And it's an extension, basically keeps the uh, rear end suspended off your torsion bar assembly. So you have your arms, your shackles, and then your bird cage. So if we look at this one, this one's way off now. And how you would fix that is you would either add or subtract the spacer in or out on the bird cage, or you'd bend this rear arm. So in my case, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this arm off the car and go ahead and bend this arm to get my angle right. So I'll take the shock off the bottom, pull the pin out, because all my shackles are pinned. And that's for easy, quick adjustments. And then uh, go back and check my alignment after I bend the torsion arm. All right, so what you're gonna do here is basically figure out what way your arm needs to bend for your adjustment. Take your arm and you can disconnect these or not. And you wanna put it under your press. You might wanna disconnect. Punch your rods, your shackles, your shock mount. So when you bend this, it bends straight. As you see here, I'm hitting shock. Or what you can do is just adjust your press. So when you press it, it presses straight. So I have that in there. I'll get my bend right, make sure this is flat and straight. If this is not flat and straight, then you're gonna bend your arm crooked. That's not what you want. So the nice thing about these arms is my pin's off to the side. On my press plate, all the bolts are recessed into the arm. So what I can do now is just press on my lift, put some turns in it and bend it up. You're good. Your adjustment's good. Go one more. And then release your pressure. And when you leave your pressure, your arm is going to come back up. See how it has a memory to it? Now you can use a rag or any kind of anything to cover the arm so it doesn't get scratched up. Hyper arms are pretty good on the finish. They don't really scratch up that easy. So we'll go ahead and put this back on the car now and check our adjustment. Okay, so we got our arm back on our car. And what I do is when I put this back on here, I'll put my shackle on there and move it off to one side. And to check my alignment of this, what I'll do is I'll take the axle, I'll move the axle up and down. And you can see that the shackle is moving on the pin. And I'll do this enough times until that stops moving. And once that stops moving, I know that's where my center of my shackle is gonna be. So you just keep going until you see it stop moving. Because on the racetrack, it's going to be doing this a couple times, quite a bit. And that squeak you hear is a piece of rubber over there. All right, so a couple times, you see my shackle moved over. I have about a quarter inch gap on this end, so I need to put a little bit more bend in my shackle. I want this right in the center here. All right, so we went ahead and readjusted our arm here. We pressed our arm back again. We went ahead and we moved our axle again. Again, just move it up and down within your range of motion that the car is going to see and travel at. So move that enough times, we know that's going to stay centered inside the uh, bird cage, so we know that arm is good. Pretty much to go ahead and sum it up, put your bars back on your car, you put your shackles on, put your shocks on, put all your pins through on both ends. You can put your tires on, then go ahead and just bounce your car a bunch of times. Bounce your car, move it side to side. Also make sure your Jacob's Ladder is free, it's not bound up. You don't want that bound up at all. Other than that, though, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward how to do that. Other than that, though, y'all have a good one.